for anybody that yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can see what it looks like. Yeah, this this is the thing that really screws with your head when you see them. I think this one definitely. Yes. Was it you? This is where I go. All right, just take my money. Here it is. What? I shouldn't buy it because I don't think I. In the garage. Putting you on. Putting you on camera again. <laughs> this is the big toy I want. Uh, and then not that. Let's see if we can find Jason. Oh, I found Jason. <laughs> We were looking at it and we don't need it. Oh, there's mine. I was going to say, you're a, do you want to do a little advertising today, Jason, for yourself? No. Well, too bad. You're on camera. <laughs> okay, so my name is Clint Miller, K0GR. I'm from Ames, and uh, I've given this presentation a number of times over the years. And Tim asked me to pop in here and see if anybody was interested in this. So I updated it again this week to uh, include... Uh, inflation is the name of the update. <laughs> uh, some jumps in prices. So fox hunting. This is not what we do, but um, it still looks kind of fun. Um, so it's uh, it's a hidden transmitter hunt, uh, and so sometimes you'll hear it called RDF or radio direction finding, and uh, you'll hear some people call it transmitter hunt, uh, bunny chasing, T hunting. They're all kind of names that get thrown around, um, and. Uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to take several bearings, and where those bearings cross and triangulate, um, that's uh, usually where you're trying to lo find the location. Um, and so it's usually timed when you do a hunt, so sometimes speed matters. Um, it's a, No license is needed, so it's receive only, so it's good to do with scouts. Uh, it's good to kind of, you know, somebody's ham curious. It's good to activity to sort of show them what we can do. Um, a lot of times we're talking on the, another frequency to uh, give hints, so sometimes the license is helpful. 